Nationwide protests continue over the grand jury decision to let cops off the hook for killing Breonna Taylor. Now, a real leader would be calling for calm and unity right, right now, right, ladies? But Trump is adding fuel to the fire, claiming that he's protesting the use of mail-in ballots and he may not peacefully transfer power over to Biden if he's voted out. Take a look. Well, we're going to have to see what happens. You know that I've been complaining very strongly about the ballots, and the ballots are a disaster. I and, understand that, but and, people are rioting. Do you commit oh, yeah, to making know, sure that there's a no, peaceful wanna, transfer of power? We want to have get rid of the ballots, and you'll have a very trans. We'll have a very peaceful. There won't be a transfer, frankly. Then are the election results only legitimate if you win? So uh, we have to be very careful with the ballots. The ballots, that's a whole big scam. We want to make sure the election is honest, and I'm not sure that it can be. I don't, I don't know that it can be with this whole situation. Unsolicited ballots. They're unsolicited millions being sent to everybody, and we'll see. So, um, you know, I think he's playing the autocrat just wants to see which Republicans are going to line up behind him like they've done on every other heinous thing he's said and done. But what do I know? Maybe Anna, do you know? You're a Republican. Do you think they'll fall the lot behind him? Look, I think a lot of them are distancing themselves on, on this, at least, you know, one thing. Uh, Joy, it's more of the same, okay? The only thing Trump has to offer the American people is fear. That's what his campaign is sowing in the hearts of Americans. Fear. Fear of lawlessness, fear of socialism, fear of ballots, fear of election results, fear of the transition. So what? this is another attempt at voter suppression. This is another attempt at making Americans fearful of what will happen if he doesn't get elected. This is another attempt of driving people to the vote, some people to the vote out of fear and keeping some people from voting out of fear. And it just, you know, it's not going to work. If you see what we saw in Virginia, uh, where early voting started and people were lining up for blocks and blocks, if people have to walk over molten lava to get to the voting booth, I think many Americans will. And, and the last thing I want to say is, look, I fled totalitarianism. I fled communism in Nicaragua in 1980. Where I have heard this kind of talk and where I have seen uh, unelected and elected leaders try to perpetuate themselves in power is in places like Cuba, where the Castros have been in power for over 60 years, in places like Venezuela with Hugo Chavez, in places like Nicaragua with Ortega and with Somoza. It's dictatorships that behave this way. It's dictators that behave this way. And this is what Donald Trump is trying to emulate. Yes. It's ironic, isn't it, that they're worried, a lot of the people you mentioned are worried about communism, but he's the one who's acting like a communist in yeah. the state countries that you're talking about. So, yeah. so Sonny, how, how seriously are you taking this, actually? I'm taking it very seriously, and I think we should all take it seriously, because this is a president that ta that says, you know, the quiet part out loud. I mean, he has no nuance. And so he has been challenging the notion of uh, mail-in voting from the very beginning, even though he submits his ballots by mail-in vote. So I, I think we have to take it very seriously. And he's been sort of, you know, poisoning the well by saying there's going to be this massive voter fraud. Well, I think people need to understand that this has been looked at. There is no such thing as massive mail-in voter fraud. In fact, the Brennan Center for Justice, it's a nonpartisan think tank, calculated the rate of voter fraud in three elections at between zero point zero 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 three percent and zero point zero zero two five percent okay zero percent so there yeah. just is no voter fraud but he's putting it out there and he's been saying it for a long time so i think these are the actions of a man who knows that he is going to be outvoted. I think um, he knows he expects to be outvoted, but he wants to hobble that count. And so we have to take him very seriously. Yeah. We need to take him at his word. Hmm. I agree. I think you're right. And, and what about Sarah? Do you think, do you think uh, he wants to do something like that? Because he's, he's acting like a loser, is how he's acting. What do you make of it, Sarah? Well, mm -hmm. I absolutely think he will contest the results with lawsuits, um, et cetera. But I do think there will be a peaceful transfer of power. The Senate passed a resolution unanimously yesterday. Um, and people have come out since then, lead Republicans, that normally fall in line, as you've mentioned, Joy. But Mitch McConnell, Marco Rubio, Mitt Romney, Liz Cheney, they've all 
reassured everyone this will not happen. He can't just squat there. But the thing that jumps out at, at me right now about this conversation is while people aren't are asking him about this and he doubles down, which I think he kind of enjoys trolling the media with this question, um, he's not answering questions mm -hmm. about things that are very real. There are people waiting for more relief in a stimulus bill. We've got um, affordable care possibly being overturned in the Supreme Court. You've got businesses shutting down, economic fallout for years to come and and there are people that really need to talk about that and he doesn't have to answer those questions while he's being asked about this hypothetical situation so i would hope that people could redirect that energy to making him accountable right now because right now he is the president and he should be a acting like that